Hello, hello. Josh from Painting by Josh here. I just want to give you a bit of a rundown on how I like to um, prepare uh, timber boards. These, this house that I'm on now is 112 years old, so the boards lead, need a lot of sanding, scraping, filling, priming uh, to make sure they're 100%, bringing it back to its OG um, form of glory. So, give you a bit of a rundown and show you uh, one of the ways that I get uh, my boards filled. So here is the boards here, as you can see, they are in pretty bad nick. They already have been sanded, scraped, and uh, had a coat of primer and a, and a coat. As you can see, we're just going through now, getting all the nail holes, all the highs and lows all filled up as we go along. So I've done, I have done this section along here at the moment. So we're just filling it all in like that, making sure um, we get it as smooth as possible and we fill in all them lows. See, when you're doing it like this with the blade, okay, you're not you're not uh, filling the complete entire thing because you are scraping um, it out as you go, as as you go down. But if I done it as in like this. See how you're filling it completely in. And two, when it comes to sand, you don't really need nothing at all because it's already completely smooth. All you're getting really is any little high bits that you've left behind um, with your filler and you're pretty much ready to go. So you're going to save a lot more time than trying to use your blade. You're going to fill up 50% more of any lows by going sideways across then trying to scrape it downwards with the blade and you're going to save a lot more filler and you're going to save a lot more time when it comes to sanding when it when you have to go through and sand it all that's just like i said one little light sand over it um and, you, and you're ready to go and instead of going through like this how long does this take like i'm still doing it quick but you can't like I said, look at that. See how you're getting all your different areas like this? You can't get it the way you can. Like that. And then, what you can do with your flat surfaces, same thing. With the polyfiller, okay, this product likes to be put on nice and hard. If you just fill it like this, okay, you're going to end up with a lot of grit. Even when it's sanded, it's not going to come off smooth. You always want to smooth this stuff out as much as you can. Okay. Like I said, it doesn't shrink or anything like that. So, feel like that. Once you get that sand, that's going to come up absolutely beautiful. Nice and smooth. Uh, you know, we've filled in all the highs. We've filled in all the lows. We've filled in all the nail holes. Um, and, yeah, after we do that rub a bit across the top here okay rub it both ways so you're filling up both sides of the the high the lows and once this gets the smooth you don't uh, sand we don't even have to really do much to it um, and that way we're ready we're ready to go light sand prime it paint it brand new board pretty much happy days are using the polyfiller professional deep and large cracks this product here is awesome uh like it says quick drying easy to sand no cracking it's waterproof uh this product i use pretty much for everything i've thrown away my linseed putty even inside on interior frames uh, i just ball it up like this and i i just use just use it exactly like um putty so this is i'll give you a bit of a rundown just on one of these holes here so that's it look how smooth um you know you can't you can't get putty to do this and especially on exterior she'll yellow she will um you know it's not the best practice it's not really a waterproof product either so it's always good when you can use um products like this and eliminate all the other i use this for everything there's not i only have i've got this product here and i've got the um just a powder plaster that I use for any gyprock 
or any plasterboards or anything like that but other than that i use this for everything so if it's um timber concrete uh brickwork you can use it on anything that you like this stuff here so it's a really awesome product that's it hope you found it useful this was used with the poly deep and large cracks uh, so yeah much love thanks for tuning in and always watching my youtube and subscribing Paint life. Much love.